I, I've been here for about a month now. Uh, I was hired by Covington uh, Realty Partners, who is the, who's the management company hired by the, the new ownership group to, to manage the property. Okay, so tell me a little bit about what you see the conditions of the mall to be right now in terms of revenue, stores, everything like that. We've got, we've got good bones here at, at the mall. We've got three great anchors and Penny's Dillers and Sears. Uh, there's a lot of, uh, there's quite, quite a bit of vacancy uh, from stores that have left over the, the last several years. Uh, but the, the, the place is amazingly clean. Uh, the, you know, the doors are open, the lights are on. Uh, we're in a great location. We've got lots of, lots of potential. How does it compare to maybe other malls that Covington is managing? Well, it's 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 different. We're in a different market. You know, this isn't you know St. Louis or Chicago or, or, or Dallas. This is a, a unique market uh, that that takes a you know a, a, a local uh, a local effort to you know to succeed. And with the with the new with the local ownership group, uh, I, I think that you know that we, we're putting the pieces together to to, to to turn this around. How have you been working with the local? You know, they, the, the owners aren't aren't necessarily involved, you know, in the day-to-day -day operations, but from the 80,000 foot level, as far as strategic planning, and uh, you know where where they want the the, the property to go, uh, that's that that's their involvement. So as of right now, what are some of the plans you have for the mall? And let's talk first short term and then long term goals. Well, the sh short term is just getting people back to the mall. Uh, we've got. You know, we've got a lot of good stores here. We're, we're trying to do a lot of events like the, the Capital City Cheer event we're having today, uh, just to show people that, hey, we're, we're still here, we're open. We've got, we've got a lot of stores here with the lights on. Uh, getting, getting people in the doors with events like this will help the tenants we have, and then that will help uh, tell the story to, to new stores uh, that we're trying to get here to the mall. What's the process of getting a new store to come into the mall? How do you go about doing that? Well, the, the, the initial conversations will uh, are you know, we're, we're we're trying to you know to, to show them that we're we're turning around. You know, we we've, we've got a plan in place to uh, you know to, to, to make this a, a a powerful shopping center again, like like it's been in the past. Uh, what uh, you know is it is. It is the, the, the first step is, is is letting them know that we're still here and and showing them that, that this market, this town, this community can can support their their stores. You talked about your, that you have a plan to kind of revive the mall. Tell me a little bit about that plan. Well, you know, it, it's going to start, you know, right now. In, in the short term, it, it's getting people back back inside. You know, in, in, in events like this are going to help, you know, I, I can't necessarily predict the future as to who's who's gonna you know open up stores here in the mall, but we're you know we're trying to get anybody and everybody we can. So you know, long term, you know the goal is to have you know you know many national stores here. You know, similar to, to, to Columbia. You know, we you know my goal personally is is for people to people in Jeff City. To shop in Jeff City, not to have to drive out of town to to do their shopping. You know, we we should provide uh, you know anything that that anybody would need here. So how long do you think it would be before we start seeing some changes? Um, do you have like any kind of time frame with that? You know, it, it, it it's a process. You know, again, the, the the first step is is helping the tenants we have here and getting people in the in the doors. Uh, you know, I I wouldn't expect you know, 10 new stores to open up in the next three months, but in the next six to 12 months, we could get we could get a, a, a couple new stores. A couple, oh, sorry, a, a, a couple of good you know national national stores that would uh, you know that would draw in you know the, the the local community. What's the biggest challenge that you're facing right now for this mall? I, I think it's the the stigma locally. You know, the previous ownership didn't necessarily give them all the care and attention that uh, that it needed uh, and that they were giving to their their malls and in the bigger markets so it it's gone downhill stores have left people 
uh, have given you know the mall a, a, a stigma that it's you know it's not a good place to to shop, and we want to turn that around. So, what personally do you take away from kind of your endeavor? What does it mean to you? Well, it's 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 very important to me. I'm I'm from Jeff City. I was born and raised here. You know, I was I, I used to come to the mall in its in its heyday whenever it was a a great place to come and shop. Uh, so it's it, it's my personal goal to you know to to make it make it that way again. How does it now compare to what it was when they were young? It's uh, it it's different. There's there's not nearly the the, the stores that used to be here. Um, you know there, there's still a lot of good stores here. You know we've got great uh, you know a a great foundation of, of national tenants. Uh, we just need more of them.